This year has been chaotic, boring, hectic, scary. It's just so many words you can use to describe it. And it's just, yeah, it's been a lot. This year has been crazy. Yeah, my year's definitely been uh, ups and down uh, with COVID and everything. My grades were at like a, like a high point. And then uh, my grandpa went through a stroke and uh, the COVID happened and I'm not a good learner in uh, like a distance setting. And so uh, my grades took a hit. So I graduated early in January and then just to have like my graduation be drive through. This has impacted me like just thinking, like I think about all these random like negative thoughts. I just feel like negative habits come with that. Just we're always home, we always be like, okay, what are you doing? Like nothing. It's been really weird not having camp, not being able to see everybody. You know, I'm so used to being with over a hundred kids and creating memories with them. I'm super happy that Avery staff just came together and said, you know, we have to do something. They knew that the kids would be um, devastated about camp being canceled. So the staff worked it out saying that they can have adventure days. Being in nature feels good because it gives you more positive energy and you get to learn new stuff that you never knew before. I feel like I'm free and I don't have to be stuck in the house all day and I could just laugh all day. I think it is the trees and like all the animals and stuff. It just makes me feel at home for some reason. Project Avery I think is more of a community and I'm proud to be part of this community. Everybody here has an incarcerated family member. Everybody's the same. They care about you and they want to make sure that you're safe and they want to make sure that you're happy. I never had that before. Avery has changed my life because I got to talk about like things that I don't usually talk about. Avery is like my second family. It's actually fun because you can meet new people that you never met before and you, they can become your friends. We're all family because we share one thing in common that a close person was incarcerated. Now that they know that everybody shares that, they feel like they're home, I guess. Being at Avery, definitely a healing process. Like you come to terms with your situation or it's not as like rampant and chaotic in your brain as it used to have been. I used to have a lot of hatred in my heart. Being eight years old and being 18 now, I've grown a lot. And yeah, Avery did help me to get to that point. Now I can talk about it, but before I was so like, so embarrassed about it. Like I'm not embarrassed about it now because I could just say my dad isn't in my life. Like, if I wasn't an Avery, I feel like I would definitely be just an angry person with like a bad attitude. In the beginning of this year, I kind of felt really sad because the COVID-19 stuff and like we couldn't come to camp. But when they said that we got field trips, then I want to go because everybody here means a lot to me. We always keep our masks, wash our hands, and make sure we're all like clean and sanitized before we eat food or do certain activities. They put so much effort into it just to see us come all here and put a smile on our face. I actually didn't know some of these people and now I have a bond with them. Coming back to Avery almost felt like everything was back to normal and like we were all back together again. It was just happy to be with everybody I loved and everything. Uh, it's definitely the community that I come for. Uh, it's my friends and my peers who I've respected for so long, as well as the kids who, who need it. I consider myself a little bit of an introvert. I don't really like going outside a lot, but this time away from it really makes me realize how much I value and how much I love spending time with all my peers. Everybody was so happy, like even with masks on, like everybody was very happy. Nobody was like complaining nothing. And I was just like, oh my God, like I really like my group. I really like this idea. Every time I feel like I lose motivation or like a sense of loss of self-love, I always, when I come here, I always gain it back. You grow as you come here. And I feel like I've grown in the last year. So I want to show people how to break out of your shell. I'm just really glad to be doing what I'm doing. 
I value every second of it, and it's been a major part of my life, and it's changed my life for the better. It's been 10 years since I first came to Avery. I always told myself, like, I'm going to be that JC when I'm older, and now I'm that JC. And, like, having staff members that truly relate to you is even better because then you just automatically want to open up to them and you want to talk to them because we are in their shoes. Seeing how happy everybody at Avery is for me, it motivates me, like, okay, I got to get this done. I have to do this. So I know that they're going to be rooting for me no matter what.